Good morning, YouTube. Fabio here, your host. Times Radical channel. Today, I got a short video for you. I'm going to do some more of these short videos. Just showing off little tips. Things you can use for any type of repair. Just to switch things up. I've been doing some longer videos, but whatever. I gotta, I gotta put something out. I was having trouble sleeping. It's about 3:45 a.m. here, so I decided I'm just gonna post another video. I've been saving up some footage, so. If you've been looking forward to some new footage and new videos, then this is what it is for now. I'll do some longer ones later, but this is this is a little interesting thing that I thought I'd share. This tool I have with the base and the tapered brass pin. Yeah, just doing a voice over here watching it. Anyways. That tapered pin holds the balance up. And usually the balance wheel just dangles. You can get a good look at the hairspring. But, you know, some of these old watches, it, the hairspring is super large dangles stretches out a lot moves around so I put this uh, little plastic piece down here that I made I stuck it there with Rodico so you can move it I get it centered right under there so the, I put the balance bridge screw in that hole and that hole also accommodates the the roller jewel. So the balance wheel rim just sits on top of that Delrin plastic piece. And you can, you know, when you're doing your service on the watch, you take your balance off, you put it on this tool, you set it aside it's fine you know um, now this watch is a little tricky because right there is where the hairspring actually attaches to the stud and you can't move that stud it's a fixed stud screw that's screwed into the actual bridge so if you want to change your beat error you might want to modify your tool, your balance complete holder. Just add a little plastic piece at the bottom. You can access the collet, the hairspring collet. You can see the roller jewel right there. But what I do is when you need to change the beat error on a watch like this, I put the, I set the balance bridge right on the plastic piece. And then with my screwdriver, I use a really small screwdriver and I enter in through the coiled springs right into the collet and I turn the collet and that adjusts the beat error. So I hope you enjoyed. You can modify a tool like this yourself. And thanks for watching. Just a short little video checking in with everyone. Let me know if you have trouble with watches, anything I can help with. Thanks.